Now we're going to walk you through the setup for the parameters for the 665 GSE controller. Here we're at the main menu. It's uh, showing our units are in pounds. We can press units key, toggle to kilograms, or back to pounds. Uh, below that is our five digit bag counter. That can be cleared while you're at the main menu by pressing the clear key. And it asks the word sure with a question mark. You can press enter for yes to clear it or clear to not clear it. We're gonna press enter, clear that. We're back to zero. F1 will toggle the scale on and off. Also, start will turn it on, stop will turn it off. F2 puts the scale into hold or run. When the scale is in the hold position, it will go ahead and fill the bag, but it'll keep the bag clamped on the uh, spout until it is put back into run. Or you could press an F3 for a clamp release while it's in hold. F4 is a tolerance accept. If the tolerance is turned on and it comes up to the tolerance check counter and it's out of the window that you have set for the parameters, you'll get a number one that'll show up here to show you that that weighment is out of tolerance. Uh, the only way to release the clamp at that point is to press the F4 key. To get in this setup menu, we press the setup key and it's showing that we're on product 00. We have 100 different product numbers, 00 through 99. It'll also display what you have set for the final, the slow fill, and the free fall. But to change those, we press the F1 key to toggle through the parameters forward. This is your final target weight. You always set that for the weight that you want. Slow fill weight is the amount of the target that will be in slow fill. Below that we have the cycle light. Once it goes into slow fill, an asterisk will appear between the brackets. We want that asterisk to come on for at least one second while it's in slow fill. If it's not coming on at all, then we want to raise the slow fill weight. If it's coming on and staying on longer than a second, then we want to lower the slow fill weight. So this cycle light with the asterisk is just an indicator to help you set your slow fill. Next parameter is the free fall weight. Once the feed gate closes, there's still product in suspension that hasn't reached the bag to be weighed. So we have to account for that. Start fill delay. Once the foot pedal is depressed and the clamps close, how much of a delay before the feed gate opens? Clamp release delay. Once it goes way complete, how much of a delay before the clamps open? Auto free fall. We can, we can turn on or off auto free fall here. And the default setting is three, so when the scale is turned on, it's gonna check the auto free fall, the first three weighments, and make automatic adjustments to the free fall parameter. After that, it's gonna look at every 20th weighment after that. Now these are just factory default settings. You can change those numbers to accommodate uh, the way you want the scale to function. Auto zero, we can turn it on or off. One is on, zero is off. And the auto zero start counter, so by the time you turn the scale on, it will auto zero the weight display before it starts filling the bag three times in a row. Then it will do it every tenth time. Tolerance, we can turn tolerance on or off. And we can set a positive tolerance weight above our final and a negative tolerance weight below our final. And then here we're gonna check it every fifth time. Once it comes up to the check counter, if that weight is out of the window you have set, then it will not release the bag unless you press the F4 key back at the main menu. Master cycle count is just a, a rolling total count on how many cycles the scale has done. It's a non-resettable counter. It's good for maintenance purposes. And calibration. We have another video showing the calibration that you can also see. If we press F1 again, we're right back at our product number menu. So what we've done is we've made one complete loop through the parameters. 
Remember, F1 will toggle you forward through the loop. F4 will toggle you backwards through the loop. And at any time in this loop, you can press Scale Select to return to the main menu.